everyone, and welcome to episode 15 of God of War Ragnarok. And of course, I am joined by my lovely co-commentator, Trenton. Say hi. Hello. Hello. There Hello. There Love he is. new and improved. <laughs> nice. Is that, is that from something? Finance of Fridays. Oh, okay. All Not right, one. so where we left off, we made our way out um, of Alfheim, and we basically got to a point where we can go back, but... We're doing the side quest, and I've made a point of that. So we've made our way over here, we have upgraded our axe to level 3, and because of that, we could get some new skills. So I'm going to quickly go through that for you guys. We can, we already have that, we can now get into another stance, which is pretty cool. We also have the ability to call back the axe and do some neat little attacks with it when we're using our bare hands. Our vengeful sickle works a little bit better now, which is cool. Um, permafrost has a unique quality to it now, which is Ooh. also pretty cool. Uh, and then when we do uh, use whatever this thing's called, Frost Awaken, we can throw it with a special heavy throw now also, which is pretty cool. Now, what I actually haven't done was spin Atreus's 2000 yet. So I was going to look at this real quick, and I actually just kind of forgot to. Now, part of me is like, okay, for 2000 I could get all four of these as opposed yeah. to like one of these over here. I could even get this one too. What is this one? While well, grabbing an enemy, a square occasionally appears above Atreus. If pressed, he will jump off and fire a volley of arrows at the target. Now, that's kind of cool, though. That could really help out just in your own fights while he's um, an NPC, you know? Yeah. Now, completing a father and son combo triggers a square prompt. Allowing Atreus to use a powerful rope grappler finisher. Ooh. But I don't ever do the father-son combo. I don't know if I do that too often. That's this one here. Um, Atreus draws enemy aggression. Atreus watches for moments to follow up on Kratos' attacks. An increased area of effect. That's good. This probably just makes it bigger, yeah. Um, I'm feeling like all five of these is the way to go yeah. here. Yeah. So, Atreus can strike an enemy with a quick shield swipe for high stun. Nice. Little, little magic shield swipe. Sprints to an enemy and does a leaping attack to disrupt them. And he goes, Wee! Atreus sprints to an enemy and launches them into the air with a heavy vertical attack. That'll be nice. Oh, heck yeah. And then Atreus can perform a wide, heavy attack on enemies that apply status damage with the currently equipped Runic Arrow. Not bad at all. And then we can go over here yeah, and get this one, which is the which will still give me the whole little square prompt thing. So. All of that's looking pretty good. All right. So, we continue. All right, so, um, actually, one thing before we jump into this is we got a new favor which is this one, The Secrets of the Sand. Find a creature. So I'm going to track this one because I want to do this side quest. Uh, we look for the creature that Atreus heard cry out in pain. The sandstorm makes navigation difficult, but we should seek shelter. All right. Find a way to reach the pained creature. And if we see a big jaw, by the way, that's probably where our treasure thing that we found last time is at. So A big what now? A big jaw. Okay. Here, I'll show it to you. I think that's about... I think it looked like a big jaw to it seemed me. seemed like more like a hull. Oh, yeah. No, you that's see the teeth? Jaw. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a hull in a jaw. Of a big, big creature. I'm seeing bones, though. Dog! What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Please write them. Vanaheim. Yes. Gulon. I love Gulon. They're like big spiky lions. Big blue spiky lions. I want one for a pet. Shall we? Oi. Someone trained them to pull a sled. <laughs> for us. Domesticated Gulon. Most unusual. I can push it lightly to trot. Go into the crates. Run into them? Yeah. There you go. You missed one. You're going back now. 
I mean, I am Gulan powered right now. I am zooming. Okay. Love when he punches in the chest, it's so great. It's not what I meant to do. Press the wrong button. What is that? Do you see that? It looks like a mini box. Huh. It was oh, a that mini works. box. <laughs> I wonder if we could have destroyed it with the sleigh. Probably could have. It was actually a loot crate, you know? Yeah, yeah. Region discovered. Direction to find your wounded animal? The bear. we just enjoying the weather? I... New area updated. Sorry, I gotta look at the map. I know they were talking, but like. Oh! Oh, look at this. It's so pretty. There's a question mark over here. I'm definitely going there. Alright, it's side quest time, boys. Not a bad idea. A tempting treasure chest. Damn the sand. <laughs> I wonder if you're going to find a gust tour or something. Hey, that was a good thing to try there, though. His sonic arrows. Oh, that's a big creature. That might be the skull. That might be it. I'm gonna do the side quest first though, which seems to be off in this direction. Also, the real way to open the chest, you pull out the fire stuff, turn the sand into a glass, and then break it with your axe. Boom. Yeah, I don't know why I just did a full 360 there, guys. Just bear with me. I'm still learning. Can we get in there? There's definitely a way to move sand. Somehow, some way, there is a way to move sand. They're gonna pull from Skyward Sword and give you a gust blower, just a giant vacuum cleaner. I mean, probably. I doubt it'll just be a giant vacuum cleaner, but what's up here? Oh, okay, a, a wall that they don't like. No. Oh, there you go. Look, there's a cave entrance. Shall we? Boy. Oh, I think this is the wounded animal thing. I think we made it. Now, do you think we're going to kill the big, the wounded animal, or do you think we're actually going to uh, help this it? This cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature pursue within? the pain creature? Yeah, I don't think we're going to kill like it. Sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. Hopefully, what we won't. What is this place? A refuge for the dark elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. <sighs> Great. Region discovered the below. So we're under the sand now. Uh-huh. Let's go! I forgot to start a timer. I'm gonna start that now. Probably about, what, 10 minutes in, something like that. Yeah, so probably 7.45. Yes, I don't have a clock on me, but sure, we'll go with that. Yeah. <laughs> Works. Such a lame way for him to die, but that works. Oh, yes. I want to see this. Let's do it. Beautiful. It was clean. Oh, and then you guys had to show up. Oh, <laughs> that was solid. Dang. Get out of here, boys. See, their biggest mistake, I shouldn't say mistake, but their biggest thing is that they kept the Dark Elves' attacks the same as the first game, so I have too much practice with them. Whereas, like, the, the Light Elves are still pretty new to me. Uh-huh. I've fought my fair share of Dark Elves at this point. You're trained in the arts. I'm trained in the arts of Dark Elf killing. Alright, let's press on. 
There's also a challenge to break a bunch of vases, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna break all the Where? vases I see. In our like labors, you can go here, and there's like a bunch of them. I didn't know they were pulling a link here. I think it's this one. Yeah, pot's broken. Anna. Anna. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Dang, already dead. Didn't work out too well for you, did it, buddy? That's a couple of them. What? Oh, that did not I do love the design of the Dark Elves. My finisher didn't kill that guy. That was That was cool. Nice one. Okay. Is that a new one? You know, it might have been. Now that I know more about the Dark Elves, I wish we didn't have to fight them. Okay, hold on. How do I go into the stance? That's how. This is their home. Considering what happened the last time we were in Alpine, can you really blame them? Do you see that move though? It's so sick. That's a cool move. All right, there's definitely something here with this. So I need to break all three of those. There you go. I can get can up there. Different... I definitely get up there. That's, That's it. exactly what I do. <laughs> That's gotta be it. Come on. That's exactly what it is. Alright. Got me a chest. And a thing on the wall. What does it say, Mamir? Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. Ooh. Patience. Found deep within the Dark Elf Cave, they must use these as outposts to launch raids on the temple. A useful spot to watch their enemy and plan their next assault. Wow. That works. Mesmerizing. Indeed. Frick the spiders. No! Yes! Rawhide and Dwarven. Oh, Dwarven Steel! That's oh, what I need for the good. next level upgrade. Dude, I might be the closest to full health I've ever been. <laughs> oh, it's one of those guys. It's one of those guys. Those guys give me a shit ton of resources. If I can kill there. them. There. Beautiful. He wasn't there before, was he? I, I have to look so. up all those spaces because he gave me a ton of resources the last time I killed one of them. Oh yeah, That's look at the that. Thing that you had to go at another angle, right? Yeah, because when you get close, then they they won't. They hide. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, stone wood. Hones metal, dwarven steel. Holy, and that's good. Tin shattered room. All of that was no. When I'm saying they give you the good shit, like they give you the good stuff. All right. Did we already do what's down here? Yeah, we did. Yeah. That was the chest we got, right? Yep. Now we have an exploit up here. Go zooming. Jump. That's a Creature lot. You heard. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just. They feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is. Gold. A lot of pain. I see. Damn, 10 more shattered rooms. There's a place to go down here, so I'm gonna check this real quick. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Dang. Oh. Oh boy. Can you break through the, the gate there? Dude, I'm at full health. 
it's the spider. There you go. No. No. But I'm gonna have to at some point because there's no way that um, I'm gonna be able to hit this without having this gate open. I don't think we've even seen the others. I don't think we have either. All right, well, it's something to keep in mind that is there. Yeah. It's faster to go up over here. All right, let's keep it in mind. Okay, so rope gonna hold up. It is, so okay, okay. Oh, a good lizard. There's another one. I wonder what that is over there. Oh, that's the rock face that we used to open stuff up. Okay. Okay. When we did that first bank shot to get rid of, um, like, those things. Yes. Which we're probably about, about to do that. again. No. How do we break all Yes, you are. Off of there. Top. Yep. Maybe go farther away. Maybe go to a, this. Oh, uh, there we go. See, we're, we're working together on this. We're getting this. Probably from here. No? Huh. Well, we got a little ahead of ourselves, but. Yeah. Maybe I lower. here. Get out of here. Yeah, now try it. Yep. There we go. Okay. So now we found this thing. Nice. Oh. <laughs> you need more health, right? Yeah. I can open it from this and side. Now you can open. Okay. Doesn't quite make sense why you can't open the other side, but well. <laughs> okay, we found one there. Where's the third one now? Now we know that this one has to be somewhat close because it's one of those ring all of them at once. Yeah. So it's bound to be here somewhere. And that doesn't mean it didn't require us doing something up here. No. Well, what about that stone obelisk in the background there? That there? That's got a, a chain that you can kick down. Oh, then never mind. I just don't know how to open this. But there might be something up here, so let's see. I mean, there has to be a reason why we did this. I've never been this interested before. I talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you've helped some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. There it is. Oop, there it is. You know, I look I feel what a trace is feeling right now. Wait, you're telling me you actually want to learn about D and D to my grandmother? I need to go here at some point. Okay. Yeah, I can open this gate go now. Up. Yeah. What if you place right. your axe somewhere and you pull it backwards, you know? It is okay. Boom. I think it's an apple. Yeah. Heck yeah. One of three. <laughs> Damn it. It's okay. I think it's all. I think we've already gotten two health increases, so I can't be too mad. Mm hmm. All right. Well, shall we press on? Boy. <laughs> 
I think this is where we go next. Looks hey, like we like get up there. Oh, there is? Yeah. That's or is where that we came, came from. from? That's yep. where we came from. But we can go down the chain here and into this corridor, which we haven't been here before. This is probably a fight. It's definitely a fight. Yep. Hey, buddy. You're new. Oh, God. Okay. That's good to know. Wait, so this is a new one? Yeah. Thank you, Sheriff. Ooh, nice. Ow. Oh, not the blindness. Now it all goes all goes downhill. <laughs> Oh, there's more. I could always rage. Oh, hit square. Uh, you could have done a uh, uh, Kratos. Oh, let me get to him, you piece of crap. Uh, uh, yeah. On your left! Oh! <laughs> Ouch! Behind you! Incoming! Uh. <laughs> Incoming! to get there. I remember a young lad whom, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes. Getting involved where we shouldn't. Damn. It's getting deep. Some of us just want to kill things. No, I like that this Fight game... Fight Tyr, that, like that bloodthirsty bastard. You know? Yeah, Tyr? God. Oh my god. He does not know when it stopped. Oh, we don't know how to destroy that stuff yet. They really said fuck you, level gate. Maybe oh. this is where you learn how to break it. Maybe. Yeah, see, I gotta be able to... That's nice. how you break it. I think we knew that already. I think we've done that before, actually. We did. Where the heck does this go? This goes to all new stuff. Damn, this place is... There's a lot. Right, well, let's do this first. Okay, that's not it. Maybe from up here somehow? Maybe we hit it over here? Yep. There we go. Give me my chest. Boom! <laughs> it's so beautiful. Got more rawhide, got more dwarven steel. Oh, we're gonna be upgraded today, boys. Woo! All right, now we jump down. Atreus has made this jump like five times <laughs> as I was going back and forth. Come on, dad, hurry up. I mean, honestly, yeah. Absolutely not. Get out of here. Oh, God. Boom. I do not like those guys. At all. Okay, I can't get to the thing there. Um, I can line this up, though. Okay, there's more to it. Oh, there's that one. Huh. I'm a little confused. 
Oh, I got it. I throw it through this to those two. There we go. I'm smarting up. I'm smartening up. I assume that's not just one. Yeah, okay. I'm learning. Why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alfarn, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you hurt. Because Dark Elves are just screwed over in every possible media. around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Nice. Yeah, but there's nope. more to it than that. And it's I don't think it's this one. Yeah, it's definitely not that one. No. Oh. Well, maybe it is, actually. <laughs> Try it now. Yep. Maybe it bounces back. There you go. I worked out I got well. you back. Oh, right, well, I'm gonna get this chest first. I know I do a lot of running back and forth, and they're probably like, Daniel, make up your freaking mind, but... <laughs> I didn't know they were gonna go to the same place. Okay, More there's still. no way I could have known that. I know. I'm excited. Oh, what's that? There's another chest oh, here. Another box. And then we can do that rotating thing to solve another puzzle. Yep. All sorts of stuff going on here. Okay, so somehow we've got to get all of those, and it probably involves this. <laughs> Okay. Eh, I don't think it's that one. I say you go up. No, I think that's it. Go up to the top layer? Yeah. Well, it was not like me. There we go. There we go. Now right. bounce it. Oh, yeah, I see you. I'm yeah. on top of this angle you game. You really too. are. Oh, hey, Atreus. Well, bye, Atreus. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, nightmares. Another nightmare to the left. Do they give you nightmares? I do be hating them. <laughs> Destroy. Bow. <laughs> 78 79 <laughs> Nice Is he still doing it? I think he is Oh no Now he's caught up to us That was a bad nice. idea Hey, you killed it. I did, but I took damage. I took unnecessary damage. All right, let's keep moving. I thought that was an explosion or something. I didn't know what that was. All right, well, this is still towards the animal. This is a lot for this animal. This is a big side quest. I mean, I'm glad to be doing it, but I also hear a lot. I don't know if you hear all that swooshing and swirling, I but I am terrified. Also, what time did we start, by the way? I forget. I don't know. I can tell you how long we've had it for. Alright. We've been going for oh right around gosh. 30 minutes, probably. Hey, ghost. That's Holy the largest beauty. bloody half you have ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. We don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what the storm? Goofa? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. I bet this is how you clear the sand. Don't worry. That Get has to be out. it. Loonch, its name is Loonch. Well, the last oh. thing we saw was Diener, so... Oh boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, uh. really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. Uh. Uh. All right, let's get you freed, buddy. All right, let's see. Yep. There's got to be a way to clear oh. those rocks. Get a better angle. Go. 
now, dude. Yep. No. Okay. There's another bot. Ooh, another one you can shoot for. There we go. But then there's this one here. That's the problem. Oh, buddy. Oh, Loonch. Big old Loonch. Also, look at Loonch. He's beautiful. But he's a he's chonky. He is a little chonky. Okay. Oh, wait. I can blow this up. Oh, there we go. And then you hit it from the bottom area. Well, that'll let me line this one up because I can yep. hit this one by shooting through it. Yep. Yep. Because now I can do this. I missed it. Nice air. Okay, there's one. Yeah, there we go. Maybe go back over to the other side, and that's where you do the other side now. You can hear it singing like a blue whale. It's the whale mother. It's the jellyfish mother. <laughs> that looks like a jellyfish. I mean, a bit thicker jellyfish, but. It's oh my god. Oh wow, it does go pretty far deep. This thing is huge. Alright, so that did a thing. And that thing is that I can... What did that do for me? It opened that up. What do we think that did? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, it unblocked the way. The thing oh, that it was okay. running into, so now I can there we hit go. this one. First try. Looks like it can move now. But it still can't get out. Much of the hype matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Yes, please. Open the hive cage on the surface. On the surface. They have them in a cage? No, Looch. I would I would die for Looch. Or you would die for him. Is this just a free chest? Oh. Mm -hmm. There's Why did they one drop it down here. One of us are known to borrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves, any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another oh. of Alfheim's natural resources, one the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. He was all for free in the Whale Mother when that was Mimir's doing. I heard a rap. <laughs> Spencer, why am I so cruel? You saw that, right? No. <laughs> I am such a good spotter. And then look at me go. Oh, there's more over here. Sorry, Light Elf, you won't be needing that anymore. Open says me! Open says me! What do we get? Whispering slab. Shoulder straps of radiance. Beautifully crafted armor found in the barrens of Alfheim. I didn't get to read the rest of it, but that's still pretty. Ooh, there's more. Uh, oh, it lets me get back to the surface. I wonder if that's just a faster way. Oh, did I have to go up here? I really thought I found something. Aww. Yeah, you might have actually had to come up here. I did. There's nothing down there. Dang. My brain really thought I found something. I was bragging about my ability and everything. Welcome back. Look at them just waiting there for me. They're, they're good boys. They are. They are good, good lads. Let's press on. Press on. Oh. 
This looks like the treasure. This has to be where the treasure's at. No. No, this has to be it. Watch, there's gonna be the path when I get oh, up here. Oh, no, never mind. From the other way, yeah. There we go. Boom. Treasure. And a and a raven. I hear the raven Kills somewhere. The raven. I'm gonna get the treasure first. Yes. This is our first treasure. Woo! Heck yeah! Ooh. I'll take the stone wood. I don't know what the shadow. Oh! Oh! Dwarven steel honed metal. Lethal detonation. Unstable gemstone craving death and destruction. Duh. Don't mind me. First of all, I'm gonna check this out. Soldier strike. Ooh. Oh. They're level four. And they give a lot more. They give more strength. And they more. show your chest. That's yep, better than everything. It. Yeah, they show your your actual skin. You're doing it. Does yeah, it that is just everything a else? Pure, no. That is just a pure up. Yeah, but my Actually, I would argue that matches. my skin matches everything else. Yeah, I was about to yeah. say. No, mainly because the straps themselves match everything. Where did I get the shoulder straps of radiance? Was that in the chest? I guess. A beautifully so. crafted armor found in the Baron's vault. Line. Yep. That's where I got it. Was the shoulder straps of radiance? Okay. Um. Do you have anything else from the other ones? Accessory. This is what I wanted. I got this lethal detonation. Enemies killed from a runic arrow explode. Eh. Oh, Might yeah, well. no, do that. Might as well put it on. Because I got three slots. All right, where's this freaking raven? I can hear him. <laughs> I can hear him. <laughs> Just kind of turn around. No, joke. Yep. All right. I want that chest. So let's do this thing. <laughs> One thing down. Not bad. All I'm right. learning. You're learning, all right. Okay, see, the issue that I have is that if I hold forward while I fight, mm -hmm. it doesn't let me enter that next stance. So if I'm holding forward towards an enemy, it won't let me enter my stance. I have to actually let go of it. And then it'll enter the stance. And I can hit him with these dope attacks. Which is so cool. <laughs> Getting health, getting health, getting health. I also have this, which I always forget to use. 
Well, not always, but I forget to use now. If I, if I fight, I can fight barehanded, right? <laughs> and then I can do this to call it back to me instead of just calling it back to me normally. Pretty sick. Oh, runes. Read on. I really wish they would have them voice it. All right, Boy. new lore. So much of who we of who we are is lost. Not just the desiccated. Yeah. Leviathan, nor its ilk, but the very identity of this creature is knowledge forgotten. What is a what? Was it a predator, a wraith of the barons to be feared and avoided? A wraith of the barons to be feared and avoided? Or perhaps a gentle behemoth tamed by the pre-division elves and farmed for meat? The answer is a grain of sand in the desert of our ignorance. Our history remains buried beneath generations of dead elves. Should another manage to rise above our malignant dogma and search for answers, let these bones serve as a warning. If nothing changes, we will remain forgotten. The console. Dang. That's deep. But, I mean, it makes sense. I don't know what this creature was. I'm just now remembering that we're in the actual body, spine, spine and rib cage of the creature. This thing is huge. The Great Dodongo. Oh, is that poem? I think it is. Oh, God. You ready? Yep. I don't remember what our score is. I think I'm up by one. So, hmm? which is your I think our score is up by one. Astrobot. Why would I choose a favorite? I already All saw right. it. I saw, the, I saw the art for it. That's definitely going to be Astrobot. A mind-expanding poetic experience constructed by who else would come Look around you, oh God, turn your head, guide your metal friend with care, or else it be dead. Rescue its friends, experience tension, immerse yourself in a new dimension. P.S. Cat fun. game. You think it's Stray? Hey, I gotta think of something. So yeah, Stray. I'll look it up. I mean, it's called Celestial Construct look, I gotta Astrobot. Choose something. <laughs> look, I gotta choose something since you took that one. Okay, I got that one like in like two seconds. <laughs> Man. Mainly because I'm not Ast gonna look it up. Astro's, You're right. Astro's Playground, like the PlayStation, I think Astro's Playroom, I think is what it's called. Sorry, Astro's Playroom. Yes. Is such a good game. The PS that comes with the PS5. Like it's so oh, yeah. good. It's so good. It's a quick experience. You'll play it in like four hours. But it's such a good four hours. The Belt Ooh, of Radiance. Belt. Let's see it. A beautifully crafted armor found in the Barons of Alfheim. It shares a radiance from the top. Okay, see, the thing is... Let's see what it looks like. But my waist armor is this one, and it gives me that stun bar drain. Time. But let's see it. Oh. That does look pretty sick. Now, it's just Defense 28. A last second bad. evade activates realm shift, temporarily slowing down surrounding enemies. Oh, now that's actually pretty good. Now that's not a parry, that's a last second evade. Yeah, I say you get it whenever you do get the other ship, the other one. Okay, I'll put it on if I get the, um, if I get the bracers. Yeah. That's fair. I'll put it on if I get the bracers. Alright, well that's that. All right. Now let's actually free the darn beast. Assuming we have time. <laughs> we'll make time. Yeah, we'll make time for this. We'll end on it, but we'll make time. If I have to edit a little bit back together, I can. All right, let's go. Wait, I heard a raven, though. You remember me hearing a raven? Yeah, but I don't know where you saw <clears throat> it. I didn't see it. I heard it. There it is. There. Nice, nice. 14 out of 48, jeez. There's a lot of them. Alright, where did I leave my dogs? There they are. Or my, what were they called? Gulon? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, Gulon or something? It was something Gulag. like that. Nulon, Gulon, something like Gulag. that. This is the spot. We can cut the half goofa loose here. Half goofa loose. Half goofa loose. Half goofa loose. Let's do it. Frost it up. Frost it up. I'm frosting. <laughs> Boom. Oh, 
flies. It's a half goofa. Half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark Holy friends Holy shit, after look at all. that. Look, gosh. Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered? He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. Yeah, really? since he's gonna die inevitably. You do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. As am I. This is gorgeous. I hope that anytime you come back here, once you've done this, this is roaming around in the background. Dude, look at that. I'm going to assume that you had to go silent. No, I'm just in awe. Oh, you were taking it in? Yeah. yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Say what you want about the open world, but ago, you damn. Mentioned Odin's ravens. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so oh. bad then. That's good. Speaking of raven. <laughs> Didn't even get close. <laughs> We did get lore, though, so I'm going to go look at that real quick. And then we will probably call lore. it off. Um, is it friends? Would it be in friends, maybe? Half yep. Yeah, it is. We have discovered that the source of the sandstorm in the Barrens was a creature Mimir called the half I encountered something like this as a boy, but it was a much smaller sea creature that did not fly. Now that the, now that the storm has subsided, we can explore the desert freely and collect resources. To the west, we can see another sandstorm, likely caused by another half we should ease this creature's pain when the time is right. Well, you guys know what we're doing in the next episode, because if there's another one of those to free, I'm definitely going to be the one to do it. They said it was to the west or something? Oh, hey, a raven. Yeah, that's where I was headed. Okay. You, I threw my axe at it and was like, it didn't even get halfway there. Oh, listen. Did you miss that whole thing? Yes. <laughs> Alright, don't mind me, let me just take care of these guys right there. Really? That <laughs> went right past him. You gotta give him you gotta give respect to that beautiful growth. Well that beautiful dodger. Right? Honestly, those death scenes are also great for the fact that they give you immunity from damage. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Nice. Oh, God. oh my gosh. That took more than half your health there. Nice shot. Really? Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. Oh, that custom. Okay. That hurt. Yeah, I can. You can hear my heart. Like you can literally hear Kratos's heartbeat. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Well, that's where we'll be ending it once I collect everything that there no, is no, to hear collect here. Open one chest at the end of this video and open one at the beginning of the next. Don't tell me that's another poem. It's not. It it. Okay. I no. It's a. That's an artifact. It's a horn. New artifact found. Tributes to Freyr. Not to be confused with 
Jollerhorn? I don't know. This piece symbolizes peace, or at least Freyr's hopes for peace. It was said amongst the more easily excitable of the elves that one day Freyr would blow the horn of quiet, and in doing so, an end to the war between the elves. Just wishful thinking, I'm afraid. No prophecy ever spoke of such a horn, and as far as I can tell, no such item exists. But that didn't stop the elves from hoping. Can't fault them for that. Yeah, I can't fault them. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I say is open. This yeah, let me get the war. Yep. Look here. The tower's purpose. Though it now serves as a military outpost, this tower's architecture indicates a different function in the time before the division of light and dark. I could find no mention within the archives, which is not altogether unusual. Many of the texts within have been sanitized across generations, but the very absence of any information is telling in and of itself. What sacrilegious ceremonies were held here so in inimicable? In in inimical? In, in, yeah, whatever. To our current status quo, that the librarians eradicated all mention of this tower's true purpose. I can't help but assume the answer is the key to a lasting peace. Hmm. Alright. So, one for this time, one for next time. Mm -hmm. And grab the thing on the ground there. What's that? A diagram for Oops. a sword hilt. For a sword hilt? They'll know what to do with it. Let's try to remember to do that. All right, I'm gonna open yes. this one because this should give us our bracers theoretically. Yes. Heck yeah! There it is. So let's put them on. So we're gonna put on our gauntlets. Boom. Oh, those and look sick. Then we back out. We go to waist armor and we put on our you belt. Put on your girdle. And then we hit back. And we see him in full radiance mode. I dig it. That's honestly nice. not bad. All right. Well, that, and then we'll grab that chest next time. That is where we will be ending the episode. So if you guys enjoyed, do let us know. You guys can always leave a comment. You can like the video, subscribe to the channel. Any or all of that is greatly appreciated. If you guys want to check out more of our content, we do predominantly play D&D. You guys can catch our live stream over on twitch.tv slash rollsicle. Or if you can't catch the live stream, we do upload all of our videos onto this YouTube channel. So you guys can check them out here. We're currently playing through the Sirens of Saltmarsh. Uh, Trenton's a player. I'm running the game. It's a lot of fun. You can see our other team members there. We've got Emily and Meredith, which there might be some more YouTube stuff coming later in this year. We don't know for sure. I've talked to some people, but we're college students. We're busy. We're going to try to figure it out, but can't promise anything. Yeah. Uh, but what I can promise is that there'll be another episode of this. We will get to episode 16. And so when that happens, we'll see you guys next time. But until then, <clears throat> peace out. Oh, yeah.